What's up guys, in this video we'll be learning how to customize preferences and settings for Adobe Illustrator And just like there are two types of gamers The first types are those gamers who start their games starting a new campaign or a new game right away And those who are starting their games by going to settings and start customizing their graphics and their shortcuts etc And usually that second type of gamers are the pro ones so hopefully by starting exploring these settings, we're gonna be pro in Adobe Illustrator. So you can be accessing these preferences from many ways in Adobe Illustrator. If you have a new version of Adobe Illustrator and you have nothing selected, you can be clicking on preferences to access that one. Or if you are a Mac user, you can be accessing that one as well from Illustrator and you will see preferences. And you can be selecting any of these settings. So you can be going to units right away or general or anything and if you are a bc user you can be finding that one under edit and you will find your preferences maybe in that area or you can be accessing that one by clicking that rocket icon in here which will be taking you to gpu performance settings directly in your preferences and of course you can be accessing that one as well from here so you can be clicking maybe that one and by default it will be opened on general settings however i would like to start by units so everyone can be following along either british or american or anywhere you can be following along guys so you can be choosing maybe millimeters or centimeters or inches if you would like in my case it's set on pixels and i'm gonna be changing that one for this example to millimeters and also you can be changing your general unit anytime by right clicking that ruler area and you can be selecting your desired unit so let's go back to general settings and first thing we have in here keyboard increment which is how far we can be nudging our objects using the arrow key and it's always better to keep that one at low value so for that example i'm going to be setting that one maybe to one millimeter i'm going to be pressing ok and let me duplicate maybe that artwork word dragging that one pressing alt or option key to duplicate it and now we have the fill color selected i'm gonna give it a color from here maybe that color and we can start moving that type around using the arrow key right or up down or left and in that case it will be moving our object one millimeter at once however we can be pressing shift and moving our object to the right which will be moving our object 10 millimeters at once and also you can be quickly changing that value anytime if you've got nothing selected by clicking on any empty area like this one we will be seeing that in our properties panel we can be changing our value and instead of one millimeters we can be increasing or reducing that value so let's go back to our preferences and here we can be changing our default constraint angle so instead of drawing our shapes at zero we can be starting to draw them maybe on 30 degrees or 45 degrees which might be creative sometimes and also can be disabling auto add or delete feature in adobe illustrator so if you keep repeating the same step sometimes illustrator will be auto filling that for you and here we can be selecting the precise cursors so if we select that one and press ok and now if we're going to select maybe that pen tool we will see that our pen tool is looking like that x however in default it doesn't look like that so let me get back to preferences and disable that one and here we have our default pen tool shape so it's totally up to you guys to choose your shape of your cursor however even using the regular shapes are not that bad and back to preferences of course this one is so nice show tool tips so we're gonna leave that one of course we're not gonna be covering all of these options right now because some of these options are related to other tools so we're gonna be covering more specific options in here related to other lessons maybe something like scale strokes and scale corners we're gonna be learning about them more in advanced lessons we're gonna be learning more about them when we start talking about strokes in detail so there is no need to overwhelm you guys with so many details so without going too technical i'm gonna be covering only main settings for you guys and also feel free to mess with these settings if you would like or to experiment with them you can be resetting them anytime from here anyway go to selection and anchor display and here we have selection tolerance set to three pixels 
which means we can be selecting objects within our artboard if we are close by three pixels in that case. So we're gonna be seeing that in action right now. However, also we need to talk about that one command click to select objects behind or control click as well for Windows. And that feature is also existing in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe InDesign. And it's a very nice feature as well. And here we have some settings related to anchor display. And we're going to be covering them in detail later. However, we're going to be pressing OK now to test these two options. So if we select the selection tool. And then I start hovering near to my type. I can select it even if we're not exactly on that word. And that could be useful sometimes and maybe if you have a very complicated design you might need to reduce that tolerance according to your design experience. And let me draw a rectangle on top of that artwork in here. Maybe give it another color. So if I select the selection tool and maybe pressing command to select the artwork word. So pressing command will be showing that little arrow next to our selection tool which means we can be selecting objects at the back or front like that. So back to our settings, I'm gonna deselect that one. You can see a tab as well for type and some of these settings will be covered in typography module however here we have show East Asian options and also you can be showing indic options according to your language if you're using any of east asian languages or indian language you can be selecting these and here you have the font preview you can be disabling that one uh, especially if it's affecting your computer's performance or if you're working on a very or if you or if you're working on a very complicated design so you might consider disabling this one and also if you're enabling that one you can be changing your size from here either to small or large here we have the guides and grid you can be changing your guides color or style instead of lines you can choose dots and also same for your grid options color style guideline distances and subdivisions and same as well for smart guides you can be changing their colors you can be adding or removing elements from here or you can be adding construction guides and also you can be customizing their angles if you would like from here you can see all these angles or you can be inserting them manually if you would like from here and this one also is very important you can be changing the snapping tolerance for your smart guides then we have slices for web design hyphenation which we're going to be covering also in typography module then we have plugins folder and scratch disk according to your hard disk capacity you can be customizing that one then we have the user interface which you can be changing the look of your adobe illustrator by default it's gonna be on that medium dark you can be going to the older versions look by selecting that gray or even that white which is quite awkward and feels really old to me <laughs> However, I really like that medium dark or even you can be going to very dark gray, which is also nice, but reminds me a lot of Adobe Premiere. So I'm going to stick to that medium gray just to separate between these two applications in my mind. And you can be choosing to auto collapse iconic panels anytime if you would like. And here we have the performance tab where you can be changing your zoom style to animated if you would like. Then we have file handling and clipboard which is having this amazing feature of automatically saving a recovery data for you. So you can be changing that setting to make it instead of every two minutes you can make it every one minute or even longer times. I really recommend to keep that one selected because sometimes your application might be crashing or you might be losing electrical power or anything happens then not all your design effort will be wasted and also i would like to remind you guys to keep saving your work every now and then don't forget to save regularly okay and also you can be changing the number of recent files to display from zero up to 30 files so we have that one on 20 if you're quite lazy to go and browse your design files you might think of 
raising that number a bit maybe going all the way up to 30 <laughs> totally up to you guys and lastly we have that appearance of black settings so there are two famous plaques in design world we have the 100k plaque which is used for CMYK printing and it looks quite pale as you can see it doesn't look that really dark black if I might say that and we have that reach plaque which is looking so nice as you can see and can be used freely in screen applications and web designs however here you can be choosing how to preview your plaque on screen maybe you can be display or black accurately or leave them as they are in here as reach plaque and also for printing exporting you can be changing the look of your plaque however even if you're selecting the reach plaque it's not going to be affecting the color values for your plaque so if you're selecting only 100 plaque and zero cmy it will be still 100 black even if it's appearing as rich black so this might be quite technical for you guys but like people who knows about printing in cmyk might be concerned about that setting in particular however now we're done with these settings i'm gonna be starting our fun and creative journey so we did it just like the pro gamers we started by customizing our settings and we're gonna be going and kicking some backs or even some blacks in that case so i'll be seeing you in next lesson go ahead and customize your preferences and feel like a geek designer